From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Uh, pretty hairy, fair weather. Pretty hairy out there for the last couple of days. We got some downpours yes. today. What? What would you say? Like hairy, like oh. just precarious out there. I've seen some well, videos yeah. of trampolines going <laughs> yeah. flying. I know. Yes, we've seen a little <laughs> bit of that today. You know, it's been localized wind damage, but winds, you know, 60 to 70 in a small area, microburst. Right. And uh, so that's been going on yesterday and today. Last night it was Edmond, kind of the bullseye, and mm -hmm. today it was kind of Yukon. And so. Tomorrow, a That's few more. Know, yeah. I don't think it'll be as widespread as what we've had the last two days, all right? So that was a problem. That's Canadian County's problem out near Yukon today. Marty Logan right there, and uh, we had five or six of those snapped off. And folks, those are pretty good size. Take some winds of at least about 60 to 70 miles per hour to, that. We, to do that. We had overturned semis today. This guy, a hydroplane, went off into the ditch now he's making his way out and uh, hey thank goodness for four-wheel drive yeah he'll get out of there and he's turning it around he's getting it out but uh, again lots of rain today rain rates were five to nearly six inches of rain per hour we had some localized flooding no crazy flooding today but uh, we did have pockets of again some damaging wind here and there all right let's get back to it trackers out today in full force talking about marty logan Tom Pastrano and uh, Jeremy Carter and Val Castor out there today. All right, so the last two and a half going on three days. How much rain? 2.73 in Jones, 2.32 in Midwest City, 1.51 officially Will Rogers. But there have been pockets in this zone of two to three to four to over five inches of rain. All right, these are the official measurements. But remember, rain varies from street to street, mile to mile. But the bullseye. The last two and a half days really has been right on central Oklahoma. Not much, but a little bit in the west, a little bit this evening in the panhandle, and a little bit down south and then off in eastern Oklahoma. So it's been a decent rain, but we need a lot more. The drought is still here. We did put a little bit of a dent in it here in the metro, yes, last night and again today. But look at these other rainfall amounts. Mohall over five inches, Crescent over three inches, and really that's pretty good, all right? And here in the city, anywhere from half an inch to six inches northwest of Jones, 3.7 just north of Yukon, and how about a six and a half there? This includes last night, okay, and today, uh, north of Hinton, so some nice rains there. Southern Oklahoma today, at least you got some finally, an inch, an inch and a half. Some areas picking up more than three to nearly four. For Oklahoma City yesterday, we had nearly an inch. By the way, we made it to 99 degrees yesterday. Today, we made it to 95 before the rain, the clouds, and the storms moved in. All right, so here's what's going on. Now at 10 o'clock, pretty quiet out there. We have showers and thunderstorms pushing again down to our south. A little bit of lightning down here, down near Durant, but a lot of this is winding down, some light rain hanging on, and uh, that'll be about it. Overnight tonight, slight chance of rain mainly down south. Right now, in Oklahoma City, 70 degrees. Feels pretty good outside. Our humidity right now, it is high, as expected, at 87%. Look at these temperatures here. Cooling off nicely, 66 in El Reno, 68 in Jones, 70 in Norman. How about a 72 up in Stillwater, 71 in Kingfisher. And the rest of Oklahoma, a mix of 60s and 70s. All right, a little warmer, 83. There you go, up in Buffalo. And some 80s, a few mixed into the southeast. So where we had the rain today, you can see where temperatures are cooler. All right, so the jet stream, see this dip coming out of Canada? We talked about this last week and over the weekend. This dip is the reason we've had storms the last two days. This is a storm system that is swinging through, and it's about ready to swing on out of here. So you know what that means. Chance of rain is really dropping off. Look at that bowling ball going on. So at least it's an active pattern that's been changing, which is good but we're kind of going to go back to more hot and dry weather coming up, it looks like. Overnight tonight, slight chance for a couple showers and thunderstorms down south. Most of us will be completely dry. Lows tonight near 70. Winds will be light. Might have a little bit patchy fog late tonight and tomorrow morning, especially the areas that had the rain uh, yesterday and today, some of that heavier rain. But we're going to have a front moving through late tonight and tomorrow. So tomorrow we end up with a northeast breeze. You're thinking, where's your cool front? Well, that's it. But the humidity will be lower tomorrow and a lot lower for your Wednesday and Thursday. But highs tomorrow, low 90s. Tomorrow, slight chance for scattered showers and storms, not near as numerous as what we've had here the last two days. So we're kind of just kind of dried out. All right, hey, Thursday, OSU looks good. Okay, it'll be quiet. It'll be warm up in Stillwater. It'll be hot in Norman. 
afternoon game, a high 93. So the 90s are coming back. And then next week, we really ramp it up on Labor Day, a high of 95. And then another, another front here after that. But all in all, hey, going into September, not looking too bad. Sports is next.